Did you know there are new codes for type 2 diabetes with ketoacidosis? In this video, I will give you a peek at the new codes and provide some coding guidance about the fourth quarter coding clinic along the way. Hi, I'm Clarice Warner, the girl with the pearls, the founder and education director of the Professional Reimbursement Network, LLC, where coding education is key, providing you with information on how to become a certified marketable medical coder. Stay connected to us by subscribing to our channel as we provide weekly content to aid you in this endeavor. In the midst of all the gifts we have been given in healthcare, the American Hospital Association's fourth quarter coding clinic has been released. So much ICD-10 CM and ICD-10 PCS coding information is in this release. It is 115 pages long. I haven't read all of it, but I've read most of it. The changes to both the ICD-10 CM and ICD-10 PCS coding guidelines are also in this information. I have already discussed the coding guidelines with you, but I will place a link here and below to the video that I um, did. The new and revised ICD-10 CM diagnosis codes and the new and revised ICD-10 PCS procedure codes are also provided in this publication. So let's look at diabetes with ketoacidosis. Codes E11.10, type 2 diabetes mellitus with ketoacidosis without coma, and code E11.11, type 2 diabetes mellitus with ketoacidosis with coma, were created to identify ketoacidosis in a patient with type 2 diabetes. Diabetic ketoacidosis is a life-threatening condition that affects diabetics when fat is used by the cells of the body as a substitute for glucose. Fat is broken down and ketones are released when there is not enough insulin in the body for muscle and fat cells to absorb glucose to use for energy. In non-diabetics, there are hormones that control the amount of ketones in the body. In a person with diabetes, ketones build up in the bloodstream. Diabetic ketoacidosis most often occurs in people with type 1 diabetes because there is very little to no production of insulin to regulate the ketones. While it is rare to have type 2 diabetes with ketoacidosis, it does occur. It usually shows up after discontinuation of medication, um, infection, or severe, severe illness. The signs and symptoms of ketoacidosis develop quickly. The patient may experience the following symptoms or signs. Excessive thirst, frequent urination, nausea and vomiting, abdominal pain, weakness, and decrease in alertness. High levels of ketones can be determined by blood and urine tests. The patient is treated with hydration, electrolyte replacement, and insulin therapy. Coding question of the day. The following question was asked in the fourth quarter coding clinic. A patient with diabetes mellitus type two complained of weakness, nausea, vomiting, and a fever. There was a strong smell of ketones on examination. 
that strong smell is a sweet and fruity smell. There were also levels of three plus on urinalysis and glucose at 450 milligrams per deciliter. The patient was admitted due to diabetic ketoacidosis. What is the correct diagnosis code for type two diabetic ketoacidosis? Place your answers below in the comments. I will place the correct answer in the description box. And so check it out to see whether or not you were correct. Today, you learned the fourth quarter coding clinic was released. You learned that the coding clinic contains information on new and revised diagnoses and procedure codes, as well as coding guidelines. You also learned new codes for type two diabetes with ketoacidosis and the definition of ketoacidosis. If you have found value in this information, please like, share, and comment on our video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We would love to stay connected with you. That is the whole point in us providing this information is to being connected with you. I'm Clarice Warner, the girl with the pearls, the founder and education director of the Professional Reimbursement Network, LLC, where coding education is key. Reminding you to be safe, be kind, and don't wish for it, work for it. Until next week, take care.